So Donald Trump released a new ad, and it's actually really, really good. The establishment, the media, the special interest, the lobbyists, the donors, they're all against me. I'm self-funding my campaign. I don't owe anybody anything. I only owe it to the American people to do a great job. They are really trying to stop me. Everybody knows it. Everybody sees it. We're going to win. We're going to win it for the people. We're going to win it for our country. We're going to make America great again. The message in that ad is, I'm anti-corruption. Everybody else who's running here, they are puppets to the lobbyists and the billionaires and Wall Street. And they're going to do their bidding. I'm not going to do their bidding. I'm financing my own campaign. I'm in this thing for you guys. I'm in this thing for the American people. Now, again, you and I disagree with that. We think he's a narcissist and he's a buffoon and I, he probably doesn't even know what policies he would really push for once in office. But that message is something that resonates across the board. And the saddest part of all this is that the people on the right fucking clueless as to, you know, why it is he's doing so well. And when I say the people on the right, I mean the other candidates in this respect. They're like, oh, I don't get it. Why, why is he doing so well? Because of that. Because of that. Now, there's other things, too. His over-the-top confidence and arrogance, and he's this authoritarian figure, this daddy figure that people on the right like to latch on to. He also contradicts himself all the time, which is not a downfall in a Republican primary, because they just read into what you said, whatever they want you to have said. They'll pick only the good stuff that they like. But this is one of the biggest parts as to why he's doing so well, is that he says stuff like this. And everybody else on the right is like, I don't get it. I've been taught my whole political career that the best thing to do is to sell out to the big money interests. That's what I've been taught. So what is this guy's coming in here and turning everything over, uh, flipping uh, politics knowledge 101, insider knowledge 101 on its head, and I don't even know what the fuck, the fuck to do. Marco Rubio, the last time Trump made an argument like this in one of the debates, Marco Rubio argued against him on this point in the debate. You fucking idiot, that's not what you're supposed to do. Because everybody's going to look at you like, um, what? <laughs> what he said is indisputable. I mean, obviously, you shouldn't be listening to the big money people that get, give you stuff. And Trump's just busting him up on that. Like, oh, go ahead. Here, I'll give you some rope. Go ahead. You tell me how much you love taking money from Sheldon Adelson and giving him an oil bath every night. Rubbing his balls. <laughs> Only I would throw that in the middle of the story. No, but this is uh, this is going to resonate. And, it, you know, as I heard this earlier today, my hands were on my head and my jaw hit the ground. I'm like, oh, my God he's probably going to win the Republican nomination. Like, I, I've said this before up to this point. Like, I've said that he's the guy to beat. He's the front runner. Today was the first time it, it actually hit me where I was like, no, I think he's probably going to win. It's not just his race to lose anymore. It's, it's probable that he wins the nomination. Why? Because of stuff like this. And understand, what he's saying isn't even true. As I've explained to you guys before, I think it was the Washington Post... Uh, released a story about how Trump met with all the billionaires who finance all the other Republican candidates, whether it's Jeb or Marco Rubio, uh, and he asked them for money. They said no. And then he's like, okay, now I'm going to go hit the campaign trail and argue against this corruption and the billionaires giving him money. So he only said no because he was rejected by those people. So he's only against it for that reason. So it's all a charade. He doesn't really hold this as a conviction like a guy like Bernie Sanders does. But either way, that message is going to resonate. <laughs> Either way, people are going to go, okay, that guy's for me, so I'm for that guy because he's going to do what I want and he's against, you know, the fucked up system in Washington. People underestimate, man, just how much everybody hates these insiders and this Washington establishment culture of corruption. There's a reason why in all these polls you see like 13% of the American people, uh, you know, have a favorable view of Congress. And then all these clowns on the right go out there and they're like, oh, vote for this guy because he's the most pro-establishment. What the fuck? But nobody wants that. What are you saying? 